It's Jeremy coming to you with another car video. Look how close you park. Stop filming me. Calm down. The bitch ass hoe. Sorry. That told bitches. me to calm down. What are people mad at me for now? Not checking my emails in a timely manner. Can you please leave me the fuck alone? Fuck off! <laughs> No, because I'm, what I'm trying to say, don't even look at me like that. Well, that's retarded. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Sporking, are you familiar with how we do retards and cars? Absolutely not. I'm sorry, man. And I, I'm so excited to be a part of it though. <laughs> uh, Grant, you explain it. Okay. So essentially, essentially what we do is we show, uh, three to four, uh, people in their cars because, mm -hmm. We found out early on that a car was a safe space for people to do their idiotic and insane rants. Mm -hmm. um, and so what happens is each week we show, we show three to four and uh, we vote and the chat votes on what is the biggest retard in a car for the okay. week. Okay. Potential. Well, Fortnite. Potential because uh, we don't. Sorry, uh, well, uh, two I don't. weeks. Uh, sorry, I forget. Americans don't know what a Fortnite is. Two weeks. Yeah, they think it's a video game. Um, Sound like a score? Okay. We, we I don't watch them in advance, so oh, I don't know if they're well, retarded or yeah. not. We take it. You look at you look at a shot of it, and you go, "I'm yeah, this is the one I'm going to pick." Okay. So, all right. All yeah. right. So yeah, we're going in dry. So the first one is um, Justin Bieber's just come out of chemotherapy, <laughs> and let's uh, see what he has to say. I don't understand what is so hard about correcting other people when they misgender uh, others like female it takes that's ironic considering i thought it was justin bieber <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like two seconds we, but you know what it takes also, for me to have to constantly do that a lot of fucking yeah. unnecessary emotional labor that i already have to take on on a daily basis just to fucking exist and be who i am but you don't have the energy to speak up and say something on my behalf and i just well, have to keep white knuckling this what, I don't uh, I'm confused. Who she mad at? He? She? Uh, society. Mad at, society mad at, yeah, society for misgendering her. Hit. All right, now you start us off. Well, All right, uh, we'll be back in one, eight minutes in. This one's pretty <laughs> retarded. I mean... So starting strong. The, I hate the fact that it's always put on everybody else that we've got to understand the way that you feel. And we've got to change the way we speak because of how you feel. I don't care. I mean, Lethal said that you look like a dude. What, like, I don't know your fucking preference of pronouns just by looking at you. So if you your, sound your, like your a girl, I'm going to say... Your background and their shirt is the same color. Do you notice that? Coincidence? Holy fuck it is! What? What? Your background. You and guys their, share the same color. Flannel. Is the same color. Oh, that's green behind me. Um, that's that has some bluish green. Oh, it looks bluish green to me, Rhino. You don't have to hide. Yeah, well, dude. Maybe. Like, I, you, you don't have. We're not going to miscolor you. <laughs> we know you exist. So. Anyway, it's retarded. <laughs> it's uh, very retarded. That's, very. That's retarded. called a Rhino I, diffusal I hate, bomb. Again, I hate the fact that it's put oh, on us I to actually have to change in, in the English language. For these retards. I think that this person needs uh, a bit more self-confidence, right? Uh, because if she was absolutely 100% sure of her, his self, they wouldn't really care, right? Mm -hmm. It would just they be like, oh, They whatever. need to unleash their inner fat Brazilian they don't model. Need, they shouldn't need outside validation to to self-affirm right they, they should already be but, confident in themselves they shouldn't be crying in their car because someone called uh him her and they shouldn't be relying on other people to validate their self-worth so they need to look inward and maybe decide whether or not they've chosen the right path in life they need to work on themselves a little bit more but at the same time this is somebody who 
uh, has chosen to uh, become a totally and completely different person. They're mm-hmm. on they're on a road to self discovery, and that is their their own problem. That is what they chose to do, and they shouldn't put it on society to validate their self worth. Exactly, but this is like what they're doing is an individual choice that takes courage to do that. The fact of the matter is that they didn't need outside influence to make that decision. So why do they need it for validation? Exactly. Exactly. It's their that's decision what, what to do all this. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like you have to have the confidence in yourself that you, you say, yeah, I, I made this. Decision. The only time that you'd see someone doing something like this is when they don't actually believe it. No, that that's yeah. That's absolutely a hundred percent. Uh, Swalky, do you have anything or do you want to move on to the next hard? I'll happy. just say it really quick. Um, they don't need TikTok. They need therapy. A hundred percent. Yep. Mm-hmm. 100%. yep. Both have in it, so. They don't need to be complaining to people on TikTok. Nope. They don't need to be upset that people aren't coming to their aid and their defense. Like we have absolutely, when I go to the store, I don't be like talking to people. No, if I get into an altercation with someone that is between me and the other person, nobody needs to step in. I'm just saying. You know, like, no, nobody needs to come in and say, oh, excuse me, you, you misgendered this person. No. But how you do you have, know you if you did? You shouldn't have to rely. You shouldn't have to rely on other people like that. Th- this is my like, question. If on. someone called her, him, I don't even know what this person is, but let's just say someone misgendered her as him. Okay. If I don't know, how am I supposed to come to their defense, first of all? Second, mm-hmm. if you're comfortable in your own skin, you would be like, oh, no, excuse me. I, I'm a, I'm a she. It's okay. You know, like people say my last name wrong all the time. I don't get mad at them because they misrepresent my last name or they misspeak mm-hmm. it. I just say, no, nah, that's wrong. It's this, you know, like people are idiots. Mm-hmm. I'm going to stick with my initial, uh, my initial theory and hope that Justin Bieber's chemotherapy works out for him because it's fucking rotting his brain. Yeah. Amen. Believers for days. All right. So that's Todd number one. Woo. Where's Todd number two? All right, here we go. Oh, wow. This one looks really fucking retarded. Jesus Christ. Are we going to pick male or female? We should have done it on that first one. Oh, yeah. I went with male. Oh, you do. I, I would have lost. I, I, I thought it was for sure it was male. Oh, this is for sure a female. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's got to be female. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I'm going opposite for that reason. I don't know. <laughs> Steph? Yeah. You know. All right. Yeah. I think, I think no one knows. You ask me my pronouns, and I say I use any pronouns, God, and you only freak. use she, her? <laughs> You're a fucking loser. Is it really that hard to call me a he now and then? I'm not saying it has to be a regular thing, but See a nice guys? crisp little he, him, they, them moment every month wouldn't fucking hurt you. I am gender fluid. It doesn't matter if I wear makeup. It doesn't matter if I decide I want to look cis today. It doesn't matter. I'm still gender fluid. I'm not a woman every single day. And quite frankly, most of the time, I'm a mix of the two. I'm the motherfucking man. My dick slang just like my titties do. I'd like to take this opportunity. I'd like to take this opportunity to remind everyone of a simple fact. There's no such thing as chicks with dicks, only dudes with tits. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that this person's been a fool with bro. If it doesn't matter, if it doesn't matter, lady, if it doesn't matter, why are you complaining right now? If it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Exactly. But the thing is, the person said they're gender fluid. So let's say you work with this person. And they come in one day and you call her a oh, her. Gross. Oh, and all of a sudden that's life. fine. And then they come in the next day and you call her a her again because it was okay yesterday. But all of a sudden out of nowhere, she's a he. You're misgendering her? No, no, you, 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 no you're, like, you're not. You, you're you got to take you're it further than that. You're not misgendering her, Rhino. She's gender fluid. You're just giving her more variety, more spice in her life because apparently that's what she needs. But, but... He also said, look, at, look, I'm doing it now. I'm giving her the spice that she wants. She also said it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because, you know, she, her dick slings and her tits slam. So why does are you complaining dick? if it doesn't well, the, That's what I'm saying. They said dick. So that's what I'm like. Does that mean dick means head. walking win? Uh, if I had sex with this, am I gay or not? Okay, this is it the depends thing. Depends on the day. Yes and no, no, no. No, <laughs> no it depends, depends on the, on the time. Like, like, here's the thing. You, you, could, you could be doing your business and then halfway through it, they swap their their, their gender fluid changes. So it's an um, axolotl. It makes you bisexual. Yeah, but but at the same time, if they're not gay and you're doing that, that's technically you sexually assaulting them. Awesome. Wow. Uh, so, so so it's an axolotl. So basically, you're saying so, you're raping in an axolotl. Well, 
if you're just doing it normal, like dick in, you know, vagina. Dick then, out, that's usually the action, d- yeah. Dick in the pussy, and then all of a sudden the gender changes, you got to take it out and slam it in the ass. Like, mm. you know. Are you asking for she, if she, No, no, if she goes from, if mid-sex, she goes from a she to a he, you've clearly got to take it out of the pussy and put it in. No, there's such thing as a masculine vagina and a feminine penis. Uh, mm. Extended clitorises. I don't get it. Seen one. <laughs> what? Uh, so what uh, happens? Uh, so what happens if you suck a feminine penis? Is that no, no, that, quiet, no, no, quiet no, no, that's gay. That's gay. <laughs> quiet <laughs> mozza. The quiet yeah. mozza. If you suck dick, sometimes you're yeah. gay. If Men can't ex- be bi. If it's an extended clit, you're okay. Yeah. And I mean, I, I have extended. a buddy. I have a buddy who's gender fluid. He says he's a dude who's on the spectrum. That a couple years ago, this all got into his head, and now he's gender fluid. And I just call him dude, and that's it. And he could he doesn't get upset like these people because he understands that it's his choice, not anybody else's his choice so everybody calls him him he and he never gets upset when he feels i guess like a woman so, I so what you're, I what you're saying it. is a guy a guy that's as you said severely on the spectrum has a better grasp of reality than everyone else than this broad definitely no it's a dude well today what i'm sorry <laughs> yeah I, I just don't know. I just hate the idea that we need to change the way we speak, the way that we've been taught to speak and our language for these um, people no. with mental illness. Like it's, that's, that's the problem. We keep saying that you've said that multiple times um, and I've it. done it too. We don't, we don't have yeah. to change how we speak. At least in my country. Well, in their we eyes, don't. we do. No, you're right. We in don't. Their eyes, in their eyes, yeah. we do. I don't have to. He's, from, he's from Victoria. So he technically, he does. I, I'll show you respect if you're, you know, it's a real thing and, and you want me to call you she that day, I'll, I'll show you respect. But if you start coming at me with crazy stuff, screw you. Can it uh, come? Oh, good question. So that's, that's, that's uh, everybody uh, can, like, right? Well, well I mean, like, like if you're if, what, like, let's just say some dude is in a like relationship with, with this person, right? Is that a, is that a homosexual relationship or, or a straight relationship? Well, again, it depends that? on the day. Well, Lethal, can I ask a question? Are you asking is if you were to pleasure yourself to the, to this image, would that be considered just a normal thing to do or or, or gay? Yes. I wouldn't be okay. able to get hard. That's my that's my that would be my issue. I just wouldn't be able to get hard. Not with that fucking thing in her face. What are you? At least with a fat person I can fucking figure out what it is. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought you were yelling at Ryan. It's that fat like, chick's dude. kneecap. <laughs> oh my god! All right, last time we've only got three. That's today. what lives three within today. the folds. Jesus fucking Christ! Uh, right off the bat, this one looks significantly less retarded than the previous, but looks can be deceiving. God, please be Alex. Please be Alex. Please be Alex. So I just got diagnosed with vaginal. What is this, Steph? Vaginal stenosis. I have oh, no god. idea. Let me Google it. Google yeah, it. Google it. Google it. Tell us what it is, Steph. I don't want to Google that. That's disgusting. Show us a picture. No, don't show us a picture. I, I don't like that. No. It means your vagina stutters. <laughs> oh, what? Like, if you try turning it off and turn it back on then? As my five-year-old walks in. Hold on. <laughs> That's not good. Is it even a real thing, Steph? Hello? Uh. It's a condition in which the vagina becomes narrow and short, narrower and shorter. And the lining may also be thinner and drier and contain scar tissue. No. Uh, this can cause pain during intercourse or a pelvic exam. It's often caused by radiation therapy to the pelvis or some types of surgery. Okay. Okay. So it's real. That's a good start. Mm-hmm. That's a strong start. Yeah, um, there is also this. Um, I'm not going to use the word adoption, but stealing of that term within the male to female trans community as well. Oh. So, side, I'm it, sorry, I missed all that. What is it? That was it's all a bad. side effect of radiation. Oh. Uh, it means she's got a dry pussy and it's shorter and smaller. Oh, oh, it's, 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 it's contracting. I just so. got diagnosed with vaginal stenosis. <laughs> 
If you're confused, hi, I'm there. I'm transgender. There we go. That oh, was man. what I was. That, that, that's out. what I was. Yeah. Transgender as. But... So is it a dude as a, a, a being yeah. a woman, or is it a woman being a dude? No, it's got to be a dude gone to woman because it's, it's got bit, the it's, fucking it's, it's, pussy infection. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's what 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 it, what it initially is. It's it's a it's a medical condition, but it's now being adopted slash stolen by trans communities when it comes oh, to God. dry crotch. Mm. All right, well, that, that's a right, so surgery yeah, to that area. Ago, I... Surgery. It's it's because of the surgery. Surgery to that area can leave scar tissue. Uh, and it can affect the blood vessels, lymph nodes, and overall flexibility. Of the vaginal tissue. Oh Jesus, that's what lube is for. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Like, but that, 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 that but, but it's you, painful. You... It's it's painful. Even if you even if you apparently even if you use lube, uh, it's a narrowing of the canal. It's narrower and shorter, so it's gonna hurt either way. Doesn't matter. Yeah. If if you've got a pencil pencil dick, you, you feel like a black man. It doesn't matter. So I just got diagnosed with vaginal stenosis. <laughs> If you're confused, hi, I'm Zaya. I'm transgender. And like Why? eight months ago, I got bottom surgery or gender confirmation surgery. So I had a PP and now I have a vagina. And let me just preface this by saying I do not regret getting surgery. I do not regret it. So I don't want any of y'all conservative ass bitches to twist my words. I do not fucking regret surgery. However, I knew recovery was going to be hard. But nobody tells you that it could be this fucking hard but yeah i was diagnosed with vaginal stenosis and if you don't know what that is it's basically when scar tissue gets built up inside of the vaginal canal to the point where it's like extremely tight and uncomfortable and the thing is for the first year after getting bottom surgery you have to dilate your vagina religiously yeah. because it's a brand new canal that needs to be kept open religiously for the first year and now that i have this stenosis i i physically cannot dilate my vagina still has depth but it's so tight to the point that it could start to close and form pockets that could lead to infection, which means that I have to get uh, another surgery. I basically just have to get the surgery all over again and get my vagina replaced. And like, it's just so fucking annoying. And it just sucks because my vagina has made me so happy, happier than I've ever been. I finally feel comfortable in my body. It's so pretty on the outside. It's just the inside of it that's all fucked up. And now I have to get an emergency Sounds revision like surgery. Man. I'm still waiting on the date. Hopefully it's soon. Yeah, I just wanted to come on here and be open and honest because I hope this shows you guys that being transgender, I would never choose this lifestyle. I did not choose to struggle yeah, like this. <laughs> All of the struggles that I've been through and I'm still going through are just to feel comfortable with my fucking self, to feel comfortable in my fucking body. And it's so hard. It's so fucking hard. But I would do this shit all over again if I had to. That's oh the problem God. where they lose. The, this is this is this is where the ideology when it comes to to the whole thing. Like they say, they don't regret, then they spend the next two minutes talking about talking about the, the regrets and everything of, of what happens. The fact of the matter is that this person clearly was not told the risks yeah. or anything that happened, which is, I, the, I which is a huge problem. That's a big problem. For... I don't blame this person for being in their car and, and crying about it. No, 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 no. I, 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 would, I would do the, the same thing if I wasn't thing. told like the full thing. You know. So basically what's happened to a vagina is exactly what happens to like a piercing that starts to seal it's, shut. It's, it's the Ugh. human body's natural response to, it, to, to do it's, it. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a wound it's, it's that's healing basically itself. healing itself. That's mm -hmm. right. And I like the, where she loses me is at the end there. It's kind of like that lady that came out and said um, it was confirmed that she got Bowles palsy because of the COVID vaccine. And she goes, if I, if I had the choice, I'd do it all over again. It's like, you and are, I believe, but I believe, but I believe her. Like, I, I think that she would do it all over again. Uh, you know, she did make that choice because that's what she felt that she needed. The problem is, is that her body is doing what it's supposed to do. It is healing from the inside out. And, it, it's just something that like, I don't think that they tell you those things. You know, they don't, they don't tell you those things before you do that. It's, it's gender affirming care. Hey, you, you get this done. We're going to support you. But they don't tell you like 
in a year from now, you might be struggling with this. You, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I don't blame her for being upset. Yes, yeah, they chose to do this, of course, because th- they thought that's what they needed and they would do it all over again, but they're going through, they're struggling right now. And I don't, I don't think that like, it's their, their fault, right? It, they should have been told like, Hey, this is going to happen. This is all the facts all the facts 100% on the table that way they can make an informed decision because some, doctors like, because bent the knee Steph doctors exactly. bent the knee they bent uh, the knee and- they're afraid to get sued they don't want to get canceled they don't want anything to happen to their practice so they're just doing this they're just like okay yes that, 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 that's fine can you imagine no like if if a woman for example gets a like has a baby and gets a c-section the scar on the outside is going to heal but the inside is going to take a lot longer to heal. Mm-hmm. And that is something that doctors do tell them uh, when they're in the hospital. Right. But mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know how long, how, what they tell these people who get well, bottom surgery. In, you know, like, in, 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 in Australia, there is, there is a law. You can't get bottom surgery done until you've at least publicly lived your life as the opposite sex for a minimum of a year. Like, I mean, fully out there is like, they use the term passing, but they're trying to change that now. But essentially, like you've got, you've got to make sure this is exactly what, what you want. You can't just go, you know what, I want the surgery done because of these specific risks and and certain things that happen. Um, but yeah, like this, she put herself in this scenario. It sucks, but it's it's a reasonable response based purely and simply mm-hmm. on the information that they were clearly given, or they might have given this thing we don't even know they might have given the information that they're going yeah, yeah i'll be fine you know they're, they're just so excited or so gung-ho about the surgery that any idea of a side effect seems you know it's a seven percent chance why would i worry about a seven percent chance exactly yeah but see i i wonder if they have those those numbers but make sure you a lot of it is still still kind of experimental so, yeah, so yeah. what kind of numbers uh, do they I, really have? You know what I mean? I mean, you, I think you're, the most you're, retarded part you're about bifurcating this a penis and turning into a vajayjay. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, it's it's going to be experimental. Yeah. The most retarded part about this entire video is the fact that she's even made it into a video and put it out on the yeah. internet. And it's yeah, that, that, now, that now I wonder. I wonder though, because there are a lot of people who have made these types of videos that get backlash that the the community turns their backs on them the community right. calls them out how dare you show a bad part of you know of transitioning because they're weaponizing I mean, this it, to to turn yeah. kids that are i'm telling you kids that are on that you got to watch out for kids that are feel like they're left out of things mm-hmm. feel like they don't belong yeah. feel uncomfortable it, the, the yeah, death this of is the, the tomboy this is this is yeah. yeah but this is the new yo-yo trend at school you know, I mean, just just out of curiosity, how many how many of you before hearing this video realized that you have to spend a year dilating your mangina? No, nah, did not know that. I do that I just for that. fun. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they're called kegels, I dude. I, 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 I'm one supporter of your OnlyFans, Scott. I know. Yeah, <laughs> do that kegel. Right, well, okay, kegels is supposed to actually make it tight or something like that. Yeah. Blue eyed Scorpio. We pulled up an article about blue eyed Scorpio and his bulldog earlier. No, that was about Dave Filoni. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Sporking, who are you yeah. voting for? One, two, or three? Oh, God. Um, oh, man. This one really takes... I, I actually... I'm going uh, I'm going one. One is... Is that the most crazy? That's the one I picked. Yeah, one. I'm going one. one. Justin Bieber with the clown thing going on. It scared yeah. the shit out of me. Fair enough. All right, Steph? Uh, I'm going to go with number one. Number one. Number one. All right, I'm going to pick number two. Uh, Rhino, you said number one. Grant. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going number two. Clearly, that was the, the most, the most retarded. When you say that you, you don't care what you're called, and then complain when someone calls you something that you didn't want to be called, that's the retard. You know what? I voted number one in the poll, but I'm going to change it. Number two. Let's tell him. My up. man. Let's tell him up now. Yeah. It's Jeremy coming to you with another car video. Look how close you park. Stop filming me. Calm down. The bitch ass hoe. Sorry. That told me to calm down. What are people mad at me for now? Not checking 
my emails in a timely manner. Can you please leave me the fuck alone? Fuck off! <laughs> no. Because I'm... What I'm trying to say... Don't even look at me like that. Well, that's retarded. <laughs>